Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and this is one of the Bad Toot Girls and today we're going to be doing part two because y'all really liked it, the video. Y'all really liked it, the video of, what is it called? The, ugh, I'm over here, okay, reacting to who are the Bad Toot people and you guys really liked that. So I'm going to give you guys a part two and with this video, I want to do a little talking. When I was doing this video, well, when I was doing that video, it was a lot of people talking shit. And some of them was like, well, you look like you got their blood. Be glad they made you look good. Bitch, who made me good? If it's not guys, if it's not my parents, then who made me look good? Because I ain't come out of nobody. I, I, but yeah, before I start my video, let me say, let me say, let me say, <laughs> but you know, I just want to learn some, to be honest, you know, so don't think anything of it like that. Don't think that I'm trying to put like one race down than the other. I'm not trying to do none of that shit. I'm just trying to get to know history, you know, like what's up? Because they obviously don't be teaching this shit in school, of course, because it's probably not their motherfucking history. So anyway, so let's get this video started. And I think it's gonna play back to where. No, this is not playing all the way back. So I'm gonna just pick apart, okay? Based on cultural and physical differences, and their history as slaves. If you are small Levante, you cannot go to school. Oh, wait, you, you can watch this. If you have to go to school, you this have to pay a lot of money. I am so unprepared. Is this my. I feel like, please leave us off where we were. And I also filmed the, what is called, on a blind date. So make sure you guys watch that too. Ignore my background. And I just left my makeup over there. So, yeah. to raise their children. Therefore, it's believed that the people of Somalia are more courageous than the Somali Bantu people. Paragraph 4. There are two major languages in Somalia, Mai and Maha. The Somali Bantu predominantly speak Mai, and the dominant Somali clan speak Maha. If you read about Somalia, you will only find what was written by the ruling group. It is not as they claim. Their society is neither homogeneous nor egalitarian. Further, that there are people who have one language, one culture, one tradition, and one religion is a myth. Somalis live in diverse communities. There are different groups, there are different languages, and there are different societies, but the dominant clan's language is imposed on every other Somali group. All the other languages are denied, refused, or viewed as insignificant. The Bantu right. and the Somalis can each understand and speak a little of the other's language, but they cannot express themselves the way they want. Paragraph what first of all it's a dialogue with their language like like our words like our words are kind of similar to each other you know i don't know like when i talk to some smiley people and i speak my language they be like yeah i understand it some of them they don't understand you know so i'm just like to me it's like i can understand somali but it's not like when they're talking too fast when you talk too fast i get lost because i'm trying to because i'm already not good in my language you know and then that's like another language i'm trying to like get to know or whatever so yeah but within our language, it's like a dialogue. So we might have like some similars or whatever. I feel like it's that. Oh, let me not. I was sound stupid. Anyway, let's play Hi. In the past, Bantus were considered a very respectable community in Somalia. Some Somalis used to work for the Bantus and others showed up at their houses to beg. But when the civil war broke out, the Bantus became defenseless and were deprived of their property by the Somali armed forces. After the civil war, the Bantus were evicted from their homes. After Somalis had stolen everything from the Bantu, they had no choice but to work for them to earn a living. Therefore, it is said that the civil war entirely changed the social standing Somali Bantus. Paragraph 6. So, Mali Bantus faced many forms of discrimination in Somalia. President Siad Bar and all other Somalian presidents have marginalized Bantus. They rejected them and refused to enforce their rights, seeing them as an insignificant minority. According to them, Bantus are not Somalis or Muslim, so they should be deprived of their wealth, even though they know that all- What? That was the most stupidest thing I ever heard. First of all, Muslim is a religion, okay? It's not no culture and none of that shit, okay? So, respect that. Let's, let me, let, let's play 
that shit back because that sounded real stupid. Siri, mm mm. Siad Bar and all other Somalian presidents have marginalized Bantus. They rejected them and refused to enforce their rights, seeing them as an insignificant minority. According to them, Bantus are not Somalis or Muslim, so they should be deprived of their wealth, even though they know that all Bantus are Muslims and Somalia is their homeland too. Before the civil war began in Somalia, President Siad Bar you know, used to take the wealth of Somali no Bantu by force and separate it according to a two over one ratio, dividing the stolen wealth am among his people because most of them were destitute and the government lacked the funds to feed them. Somalis have never wanted Somali Bantus to own anything in Somalia, and that's why they always dem. Unstrated harsh behaviors towards Somali Bantus. Therefore, the people of Somalia violated the basic or fundamental human rights of Somali Bantus. Paragraph 7. The purpose of the civil war in Somalia was to rob the Somali Bantu land and replace other Somalis. President Siad Bar and his general, Farah I.D., had an argument over who was going to take the Somali Bantu land, and they had a big war with each other. The one thing they had in common was the desire to remove the Somali Bantu's property. But the problem was that each tribe wanted to rule itself after they took the land. They start a war against each other, the Somalis robbing, raping, torturing, and killing one another so much as in tribalism. Every time a tribe was defeated, they would show up at Bantu houses and steal the bee, and his wealth to fight back against their enemy. Somalis have been such an awful jealousy, hatefulness, and arrogance toward the Bantu since Nasi Buindo died. It's like a disease spreading inside their- You know what's so sad? How we had to come to America because- BECAUSE- because our own country is not good. And then we came here and shit kind of fucking up, you know, like this whole racist shit is going on. At this point, it's like, yo, where the fuck should we go? You know, because we got like we got out of home. OK, <laughs> I can't talk. We got away from home to come over here. What? For safety, for education, for all that shit. Right. And then we came here like, you know. All that racist shit or whatever. So we came here to have a better life or whatever. And we come down here and it's kind of the, just the same shit. But now it's like white people versus this whole shit is just hectic. Why can we not just all be peace? At the end of the day, we're human, right? We all breathe, right? Right? We're, we are all God creation, right? Even though we, we all believe in something different, I feel like everybody has the same God, but, you know, we just have a different beliefs on, like, you know, the like the story or whatever. Like, everybody's, every religion story is kind of different, but it's some similarities and stuff in it, you know? I just feel like we need to come as one, and it's just not some other Bantu doing this. So that's just black and white. And then I heard about the, what is it called, Ethiopian and stuff, and I, I was like, damn, like... I could feel for them, you know? Like, I didn't, like... That shit just crazy. I just want people to just treat everybody you want. Because at the end of the day, like, why... First of all, why are y'all hating on people because how they look? Like, how Like how would you feel if I hated on you how you look? Like, that's just so sad because somebody got a big nose, you mad? Because somebody has, or oh, what is it called? Or 4C hair or different hair from you because you mad? Bitch, who told you you're the right way to look? Like... Who told you having a, what is called, lighter skin tone and having straight hair and having a little itty bitty ass nose is the right way? Huh? Huh? Like, I just really want to know that, like, when, when, like, when a race always thinks they're better than the other race, I'm like, who gave you the permission? Who gave you the right to be like, okay, you're an example of how everybody should be looking. Like I said. If, especially if y'all believe in God, like, oh my goodness, if y'all believe in God and y'all be like, God makes no mistake, then why the fuck are you judging somebody because of their skin tone, because of their hair, because of the no size? Why do you care? Like, that is so fucking dumb. Like, this is really, 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 really dumb. Like, everybody's always from this one place, but then I just want us all to come together. Okay, because at the end of the day, we're all going to be getting tested by the same Lord, okay? It's the same God. We're all, come on now. I don't understand. Anyway, let's get this right. Like, I okay, and also I want to put in some, 
yes like just because some few people in the race made a mistake or in the religion that does not goes for everybody okay for example just because some terraces or whatever or do this and some people that be killing people and they be like oh but i said um the smell of net then just don't compare them with everybody else just because a group of person did something wrong that doesn't mean like oh okay this whole people are terraces and they're not good because one of their people just did this so that means all of them could do that no it's not like that okay when i like our religion is so peaceful so that's why i'd be like what you saying muslim is mm. but yeah like don't ever try to come like that but at the end of the day, I just want all of us to treat each other as one. Like, I don't understand why we have to discriminate from each other. Because Cause when we all die, my nigga, we all turn into a skeleton. All our skeleton is white. Nobody's going to know. Like, why do you care about somebody's skin tone? They know. They hair. Damn, bitch, you act like you paying for that. Anyway, let's continue this shit. This just made me mad. And it will never be possible until the day of judgment, just like the jealousy and the hatefulness that the devil has towards the father of humankind and his children. Paragraph 8. The people of Somalia always wanted to steal belongings of the Somali Bantus. Sometimes, a group of Somalis' arms come to the Bantus' area for stealing, while the Bantus are praying, and they stop them from praying. And they told them to get up and look around you, do you see God? This gun is your God, it can kill you, and it can save your life, so obey the gun, and bring everything you- no, bitch, that's not my God, because at the end of the day, if it kills me, bitch, you can't bring me back up to life, right? Okay, then you're not obviously God. Just putting it out there. And Mr. Siri, stop telling a bunch of fucking lies. Because I don't know what to believe. You just talking shit now, like... Uh, the Somalis' arms used to force the Bantu people to carry the weight of the stolen items. Sometimes the things weighed over 50 pounds. The Bantu people feared Somalis, who made them lift the stolen goods. Often, some of them tried to fight back against the destructive forces, but the majority... You see, I'm just done with this video. It made me mad. Like, it really made me mad. Like, I feel bad like how my people had to struggle. Like, if you know my mama, my mama loves Africa. She loves Somalia. She loves all this shit. You know, she loves it. What I was just trying to say, it just made me... I forgot what I was about to say. But anyway, let me talk about the people in my comment that was just talking a lot of shit. Like, did you get paid with that comment? I didn't think so. But oh yeah, this is what I wanted to say. <laughs> like, I wanted to say that's why it got me really thinking. Like, I want to be something big. Like, I want to, like, I want to help people out, yo. And it's just not my people. Like, I want to help my people out. I want to help other people out. Because I know other people are suffering the same shit as we do, too, you know? Like, I just want to be the voice of so many people. Like, I want to... I don't know. It's Charlotte, though. I want to have a voice to speak for everybody and stop this racist-ass shit. It probably won't, but I, but I will stop it to the point these bitches are going to be doing uh, racist shit sneakily. They're not going to be doing it like out there, you know? But yeah, if you guys want a part three, comment below. But I actually really don't want to do a part three because this whole shit just pissed me off. And I really don't know what to believe with this whole thing because it's just saying some nonsense, you know? And it's just crazy. But yeah, it just it just fucked up my mood, y'all. That's why I'm feeling a little bit low. But anyway, make sure to like, subscribe, comment below, and make sure to stay tuned for my blind date video. I don't know if I'm gonna post this video first or I'm gonna post my blind date. But you guys obviously loved it, this video. For my last video, y'all showed so much love. So I'm like, who's that? Is that me? <laughs> Is that me that just hit a okay? okay but thank you guys for all the love and support like i really appreciate it and yeah deuces